but later on, um, one day, mom was on a morning walk, and one lady stopped her and said that, Bhavi, do you know, uh, my son is a big fan of your son's uh, music. He listens to it every day. Um, okay. Was it right after your first album? <coughs> so, and then mom was like, okay, carry on. <coughs> and the second is like the stereotype you're talking about. Uh, my ex uh, and I had a breakup on this particular point because uh, uh, her mom and uh, the entire family used to have uh, a perspective uh, that, uh, okay, uh, uh, Sufi does uh, band music, not the traditional music, you know, band music. So uh, there's a very, uh, a very high probability that he'll be taking uh, drugs and uh, booze and alcohol and maybe he, he's having a, a weird sort of uh, <laughs> connections with girls and whatnot. So I said that, okay, um, I don't want to follow down to the narrow path, <laughs> narrow-minded path. So you walk on your own way, I'll walk on my own way. That, is, that was more personal <coughs> than professional. But still, uh, still uh, 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 what I can say, we are proud, showering out loud, that uh, we are a straight age band. Uh, one or two of us is probably <coughs> socially drinker. Not the regular, not on a regular basis, and Adnan smokes only when it is Ramadan. He has his <laughs> weird, stupid explanation, which doesn't sound stupid when he says, and um, Shuharto is a regular smoker. Other than that, we're non-smoker and non-alcoholic, pure straight age. This <laughs> <coughs> but I really wanted to know that when you publish any records or when you have any concerts. How do you manage to publicize it? Do you have to pay anyone? Because there are rumors that new bands have to pay <coughs> organizers to get their shows, with the name on the shows. And Surely, the true underground musicians, they don't give a damn about publicity or um, popularity. They are the passion players. Um, that's what they do. I uh, was unfortunate uh, that I, I did not receive that, and, uh, that, uh, those musicians from that era that actually died uh, on around 2000-2001 right after I joined Arbovirus. So nowadays everyone needs to have a five minutes fame on the stage and um, mainly they're basically after popularity. So what makes you different from them? Like what, if I generalize it, <coughs> what makes you different than this generation of musicians? Almost all of us have a uh, teeth problem. <laughs> we are a big fan of uh, Nannar Kachi. <laughs> and basically we are friends first, then we are musicians. Um, I really don't find any reason to quit the band Maybe uh, we may or may not go on a hiatus, but um, we have a very good understanding and very, very, very less amount of ego. Uh, that makes us different. Because um, what I see on the other bands from our era, uh, I'm talking about 2001, 2002, uh, what happens is they are together because they want to form a band. They want to play live. That's it. And we can say that many of the bands which were very popular yes. during your time and plus our time, but now they're breaking up and they're yeah. breaking up with a big hatred. Something is changing in this. It's not passion anymore. It's not only passion anymore. Maybe there is passion, maybe a little, but it's not about money and fame now. So what went wrong in the past few years? I didn't hear about band breaking this much when I was in school or in my high school. But now when I talk about Bangladeshi band, whenever mm -hmm. I, I don't see them, I, I just say, oh, this band had this album, then they disappeared. Mm -hmm. Or the, someone quit, someone went to study abroad. That can be a valid reason yeah. to pursue um. study abroad, but at the same time, there are many other reasons to quit a band. But something went wrong, I felt like it. The way I view, is, uh, view it is like, um, first of all, five members have to have one common ground, like 
we have non narcotic <laughs> common ground, but uh, jokes apart, uh, they need to have a good understanding so that uh, when they jam together, uh, they can connect to each other. Like, okay, after this rolling, you're supposed to play the bass. Ah, oh, okay, okay, I'll play the bass. <coughs> and the second thing is, they'll have to have a vision. If uh, you don't have a vision, you'll be just fooling around with your instrument. No matter how good you play, uh, you're totally useless to the scene and to yourself. And many old bands are still intact and together. Uh, uh, the main reason that I find is uh, that's their livelihood. Okay, they earn money and they want to earn money out of it. I'm working for a multinational company. My other mates are also doing a great job in their own fields. But uh, whenever I think of making money out of it, it's a very difficult ball game. So 24-7 I'll have to think about how to publi uh, publicize my band and how to make more promotions and campaigns and uh, how to reach to the broader audience. Okay, we didn't give a serious thought about it. Um, until 2013. <coughs> Sorry, um, 2013, we started recording for our second album after seven years. So then we started realizing that um, either we work and operate on a professional basis or we just shut this down. Um, it's been 10 long years. So after, uh, even after 10 years, if we start, if we continue playing and performing like um, amateur bands <coughs> and look clueless on stage, um, that's ridiculous. Don't you think this is the beauty of it? Because when I listened to your, like when I was first encountered your band, I listened to your <coughs> albums, I looked for your mixed albums performance and I looked for your con concerts everywhere. But when I hear that you're having a second album after a long time, oh. I would go crazy to get it. Okay. This, I will get bored with your music because I will see that, oh, you only want to get the audience and only want to give them something to eat. Because you have your brand name and you want the money. So you're Depends, selling it. It's actually because uh, uh, what matters in the end is the material itself. I mean, how the song sounds. Not even the mixing, not the mastering, how they have played, but how the song sounds on a general basis. Led Zeppelin had 10 album. <coughs> all together, and uh, Led Zeppelin was uh, uh, was alive uh, for about ten years, and they, they disbanded. Scorpions have twenty albums. Sting has <laughs> Sting has thirteen albums. Dream Theater has thirteen album. Thirteen albums. So, um, how do you justify that? Well, but they're still legends. They're still legends, and they have been legends because of the content. But if you ask me if I find a Megadeth, new album of Megadeth, mm -hmm. good, I will say no. They're just doing it for business. Mm, yeah, up to some extent. I mean, especially in the case of Metallica and Megadeth, I mean, that was the foundation <laughs> that changed my life. I stopped listening to Metallica and Megadeth. Metallica, after. Uh, Reload. <laughs> I didn't like Saint Anger and uh, Megadeth uh, after Risk <coughs> because they had a crappy producer uh, who wanted to sound it like popish rock or something like that. <coughs> something about we had a term like whenever mm -hmm. we went to the concert, we had a term for different bands. We said these are upper county bands. Okay. I never heard that one. Like from your for your band, like um, there are bands. What's the which meaning? Is meaning that they target girls. Like they oh, are only okay. for girls. Like girls band, girls favorite bands. Upper county. Like if you talk uh, about black and Dasan was the upper county part. No, Dasan was not the. I mean, it eventually happened. I would say because John is a talented musician and he's a very very good uh, songwriter, not good, good will be I mean, under a statement. He's a great songwriter. Okay, he alone wrote all the songs of Black for Solemn, single album, third album. But Tansan also 
is another great uh, songwriter too. So when they came up, magic happened. So um, I don't view it in that way. Basically, <coughs> the, when we talk about alternative <coughs> rock, uh -huh. so when we wanted to see Black on stage, we wanted mm -hmm. John to perform, not Tasa. Mm -hmm. But Tasa's some people only bought Black's album because of three or four songs for, were from Tasa. See, the content comes here. <laughs> These are the content. Like, I mean, it's very easy to express your baseline emotion to public. But when you want to talk about how you have, uh, how um, complicated is your connection to your office colleagues or your brother or someone you had loved once, that is difficult. Or how uh, you want to see your country in the next 15 years, that's difficult to express. So maybe um, they go for the easier path, <laughs> easier content. But I must say about Octane, it was completely different. Mm -hmm. If we look at I Want the Quantum Truth, okay. then again go back to their albums, like very old, three months, three mm -hmm. I love those albums. <coughs> those were the songs that made me fall in love with Banga music. Okay. They were the beginning, like, they were my first piece of music. Mm -hmm. After Scorpions, Megadeth, mm -hmm. and Metallica, they were the ones. So, okay, now no more pop singing. Right. Just put them aside. Well, we don't have good pop. We never do. We don't still don't have good. We pop. still don't have good pop music. The like. girl who gets to go, <laughs> gets to be the rock and roll queen doesn't even perform. Yeah. Um, on that how genre. How I view pop music is, since I'm from eighties, I'm I'm still a diehard fan of Michael Jackson. I still listen to Michael Jackson. And I had two identical cassettes, so that um, if one goes down, I can play another one. So, <coughs> uh, but I'm not saying pop is bad. I'm just saying that. No, no, no I'm not saying that pop is like bad. Too. Pop culture, like famous pop culture, pop so is from here popular music. Yeah, it it involves a very good uh, songwriting with a nice hook that'll tie up uh, a huge audience as well as the visual performances too. So only visual performance uh, can take you uh, farther or just a good content. Is, uh, it, it sounds good on my car stereo, but I don't like you when you're on the stage. <laughs> so that doesn't click in that way. <coughs> so that's basically about it. Yeah, and about the term APA county. <laughs> if it's about APA, okay. Uh, I'd surely, uh, I and we would surely l uh, love to sing for our appas. But so it's like <laughs> totally targeting. It's, it was like so okay. gender biased. It, it yeah, seems yeah. so horrible. <laughs> okay, I like this band. <coughs> calling them Appa County. It's like they are not okay. singing for the girls only. They are uh -huh. boys also banging their hands. Maybe Hariya will be called Appa County. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we, we are being polite. We can't say get lost. <laughs> so we're being humble and, and saying how you know. <coughs> and yet we have the connection. So we are saying I got a pot. Pretty twisted, isn't it? <laughs> if you'll we'll go for the literal meaning of the song, then we will be able to sing it. No, is both it? are very melancholy. <laughs> but they are like funny in a way, but I will not, if, okay, if we talk about Chaite Baro, mm -hmm. I would have punched someone if someone said it to me like that. Yeah. Who the hell are you to tell me like, talk because, to me like this? But at the same time, uh, I enjoy funk rock. it. Yeah, yeah, it's funk rock, that's why it's all okay. I mean, satiric, satiric lyrics ha have to be there. <coughs> But that was fun, but not offensive. But this is another thing that makes me even love music more because even the most offensive things make you like it. Yeah, I'm going to Yeah. Okay, so what's next? I think I'm almost done here because you already answered the question I didn't even ask. So okay. thank you <laughs> for that. Thank you for your time. Thank you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>